here we have a live game with chess titans. So I'm going to play this game and I'm going to focus on the idea of avoiding blunders and taking advantage of my opponent's blunders. So we're going to move the, the uh, king's pawns up. Right, I'll move mine up. We'll see what the, the answer is and that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and take possession of the center. The strongest part of the board is the center part. So I want to take possession of that and I don't see a reason not to just move forward. So I love this position. I think it's great and I anticipated that's what he would do. And so that gives me an advantage. Now, he's looking at this pawn. So if I uh, am not careful, I could blunder that. His knight could come here. I don't see anything to keep me from uh, putting my knight up. I'm going to go ahead and put my knight up here. And then I'm not blundering anything. Now, his queen is coming to look at this pawn, but I'm not going to move this bishop out because I see that that pawn is in danger. Instead, I'm going to explore this side of the board. I don't see any blunders that he's made. Possible blunder for me would be to expose that pawn. Because if I went up here, say like that, <clears throat> then that would be a blunder. And the uh, Titan uh, would certainly take that free pawn. Well, so I'm not going to make that blunder. And I'm not going to move that pawn just yet because that would leave my my knight hanging. And when I say hanging, I mean without a defender because that knight is only defended by this pawn. And if I move that pawn up, then the queen could come down and, you know, pin my knight against my king. And if he could get another attacker on that square, then I'd lose my knight. I don't want to do that. So let's go back down here. I'm, so I'm going to go ahead and develop this side of the board and move this pawn up so that he can't take the square by my knight. He's going to protect his bishop. This is very similar to the, uh, the London system, at least on the white. I'm not sure if that's what it's called right this second on the black. But when you create a pawn structure like that, it's very powerful, especially if you put your bishop in the middle. He has his, and he can do that next if he wants. So I'm going to go ahead and move this knight up where he can't come down here and pin this knight. His queen is now only protected by nothing, <laughs> except by, you know, her power. She's very powerful. So I don't see a way to really trouble the queen. I'm tempted to try to figure out a way to do that, but I can't see a way to do it without, without weakening my position. So I'm going to go ahead and move this bishop out. I don't see a better space for this bishop than right here. And if this bishop wants to trade, that's fine. I'll trade. I'll get my queen out. I have to tell you, I did not, I wasn't really paying attention to the fact that if I move this bishop out, this is going to take. I'm okay with that, but I wasn't paying close attention. I wasn't looking on this side of the board. So that was almost a blunder. It could have been a blunder. It wasn't though. So uh, instead, I, what if I attack this pawn? What if I put this bishop up with the idea of taking this knight up and then taking a bishop here to trouble that? And so why don't we try that instead and see? So he goes here to threaten my knight, which um, I'm going to go ahead and move here so that I don't have to mess up my pawn structure. He's threatening this pawn. So if I move this knight up like I wanted to, it, uh, it causes trouble. So I'm going to go ahead and castle and get that done. I don't see anything really fun that I want to do right this second. So he takes this. I take and look at that. That was a blunder on my part because this queen is looking right at that knight and can take it. There's nothing fun I can do uh, to uh, take advantage of that. So <clears throat> we're going to uh, go back because that was a blunder. So I guess the only thing I can really do is trouble this bishop, kick the bishop, mess up my pawn structure, and go from there. So that is, uh, that is probably the best thing I could do. At least I avoided the blunder that I was... Uh, headed for right off the bat. So I'm going to go here and threaten this pawn. And he's putting his king up. He shouldn't have moved his king. That was a blunder on his part, in my opinion. So he should move this pawn up. He didn't. So now I can go ahead and uh, uh, at least trouble the this. I get a free pawn, for no, if nothing else. I'm going to head, and I can't move back where I was. So I will move here, and that gives me protection. And it doesn't really cause any trouble, but it's not a bad place to be. He moves his knight here. I don't have anything I can do. If I put my bishop there to threaten his rook, then um, I would lose my bishop. So that's no good. Nothing is in dire danger right now. 
So I'm going to go ahead and castle. Then he's going to, uh, why, oh, I see. I'm going to take his, I wish I had something else on there. That won't do it. My queen is protecting it. I think I'll just leave it, and I'm going to go ahead and develop this uh, this bishop a little bit. I'm going to put the bishop on this pawn. Okay, so I go ahead and take this, and now I can go here and I can threaten his... Uh, no, I can't either, because that's protected by his knight. So I can't do anything with the queen. I have to go back. I can come down and threaten this pawn. This is a free pawn unless he does something. It's a blunder. And that looks like a blunder to me. I don't know why he did that, except it threatens my queen. And then when I take here, it reveals an attack on his queen. So that seems like a danger to me. But uh, I still get the free pawn. Let's see what else I can look at. My knight could go here and take this. My knight, you know, my knight can go all these places. So one thing I like about uh, chess titans is it tells you where your pieces can go. So I have, if I click on it, it shows me I can go here and here. All these eight squares. <clears throat> That's fantastic. That's why I really like the power of the, the knight. Now, <clears throat> I could put his king in check and cause a little bit of trouble, maybe. I don't know. I really like to put the king in check when I can. If I put his king in check, he can only move one square. And could possibly move his knight up and threaten my bishop. So we just go ahead and take this free pawn. I don't see a better thing to do right this second. So now he has two pieces on my knight. He has his rook and he has his queen. Well, that's just mean. I have to move my knight now. So where can I move it? Ah, oh, every place I can move my queen, my knight is, uh, is gonna be taken. If I move here, he takes it with his rook. Um, but I can put him in check. So that's a, that's a, that's a blunder on my part. I wasn't thinking what I would do next with my poor knight. So he's threatening my knight with two pieces. Oh, I don't have to do anything. Here's every place my queen can go. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, escape with my queen. And I am going to I guess put the king in check. See what he does. He moves there. So now I do have, you know, two things. But he's not gonna sacrifice either one of those for my knight. My knight is is pretty decent. Now he has two pieces on this pawn. His knight can go here. So my bishop can do all that. Nothing. There's nothing really I can take. If I could put uh, two rooks lined up there, I could take his, I could um, skewer his king and get his queen. That would be fun. But that's a, really a long shot. All right, I'm going to go ahead and go here because it adds a little protection to my uh, pawn and also threatens this free pawn. Okay, so look at that. I get a free pawn. So what's going to happen if I get this free pawn? I don't think he can threaten me. And I, I put pressure on his uh, rook because after that I could take his rook. His uh, his knight is protected by this rook. But I can put his king in check again. As a matter of fact, I could go right by here. And his queen, I could probably get his queen for free. If he doesn't play everything just exactly right, I'm going to get his uh, his queen and um, also this pawn, oh, well, I could trade it for the knight. I like to make trades, but if I can do something advantageous, like if I'm going to trade something equal, if I can get a pawn also with the trade, then I'm one point up. So I'm going to go ahead and take this right here, and that puts uh, some pressure on this rook. Oh, look at that. He moves here. Look at that. All right, he's enticing me to go here or take whatever. So what can I do to cause trouble? You know what? I can go here and I can have a discovered check. Not sure what kind of trouble I can cause with that, but I can cause some. Oh, look. He doesn't like that idea. Nice. 
All right, so I'm going to go ahead and go here, and that gives it, at least I'm going to get that rook. Oh, look. He's taking my pawn. Um, I'm going to get some pieces here. Wow, we. I'm going to go ahead and threaten his, his queen. He might trade a queen. Look at that. He's troubling my queen. You know what? I can go ahead and get a free rook. I can take this. He has to take with his queen. I take here. And then I'm going to get a free rook for a pawn. And he has to take with his knight. And then I take. Now, was that really a blunder on his part? Ha! <laughs> I, it was just a bunch of moves, and I didn't really, I didn't have clear vision for how that was going to work out. I didn't have it. So now I'm just going to get my rook up there. So I have one, two, three moves. One, two, so he has. I'm not going to worry about this pawn. It's going to go up here, and I'm going to uh, move off to the side, and then it'll be checkmate. One more move. So that was that was pretty exciting. So if we go back and play some of these things differently, so let's look how that could have played. Suppose I take the queen here, he takes with his rook, oh, he takes my queen, so I take his. So that's not quite as good. Not quite as good. We're a lot more even this way. So the other way that I did it, so I was here, had I really been thinking carefully, instead of lucked out, um, I would have realized if I take here, so that gets an extra rook, and then I get another extra rook, because this uh, this knight, which would be in jeopardy. Now, is there anything else I could do? So this really was the best one. Uh, I go ahead and take with the queen, and then he has to take with his queen, because it's the only thing. And then I take, and then what, I guess the, the blunder that, that uh, my opponent made was not realizing that this rook would be you know, be, be sacrificed. So I sacrifice uh, this knight, and he would take with his knight. That's fine. But he has no more power pieces on the board. And so he rode it through that. Checkmate, three moves, etc. So um, another option would have been I could have taken his rook with my bishop. And at that point, I'm threatening his queen and his rook. So he goes there. Well, that's certainly an option. So now I can see. I can go here. That puts his uh, knight at risk. So the, oh, the queen goes there to offer a trade. How interesting. So I think that now I can move here and have a discovered check for the king, and I can get his queen with my knight, which is always fun. So he goes there, um, which is more important, my knight or my... Obviously, either one, just trade either one. Puts him in check. The knight takes. I take. And it's a faster checkmate this way. So, we have checkmate. <laughs>